Thank you very much for having me here. It's a great pleasure to, to be back at Secret. I actually had a few papers over the last few years at Secret, but it's great to be, to be able to tell you a little bit more about the work that I've been doing around cybersecurity show and tell. Now, I think the main reason why we are all here is that security is difficult. Otherwise, we wouldn't have conferences about it. We would all be at the beach enjoying the sunshine and the heat here. Now, security is difficult not just because it is an undecidable problem in many cases, because it is a challenging problem, but actually it is difficult to achieve, as we know. It is difficult to reason about, which indeed, as, uh, as was just said, I, I do as my main research activity, I work on formal methods for security. It's difficult to apply, to understand and to teach. I'm sure many of us actually teach cybersecurity related topics. In a nutshell, it's difficult to explain. And indeed, as Socrates just mentioned, a few years ago I wrote a paper together with a colleague, Daniele Magazzini, uh, who was at King's College at the time and he has now moved to the dark side. He is the head of explainable AI at JP Morgan. Um, <laughs> and we wrote a paper, uh, like a pamphlet paper, a roadmap paper titled Explainable Security. And in that paper, we had this figure. Well, not really this figure, because uh, we just noticed that there is a small bug in PowerPoint, which doesn't realize that a figure generated with PowerPoint with fonts and colors doesn't necessarily always display well. So if you look at, at the original paper, you will see that this figure has many more colors and much more text. But it's OK. It has, it has the main ideas, and I will tell you uh, what the missing text says. So what we did in the paper about explainable security, we took the 6W approach. And the 6W approach is an approach that you learn in journalism typically, where if you need to report on a crime, on an accident that has happened, you should answer 6W questions, namely who, what, where, when, why, and how. In German it works better because all the six words in German begin with a W in English, there is a small cheat, uh, the last word, the how, has the W at the end. And what we did in the paper is we explored, for instance, well, who gives the explanation, but also who receives the explanation. In many cases, there are overlaps. For instance, who gives the explanation could be a security developer, and who receives it could be a client. But it could also be vice versa. The client gives the explanation of what they want, and the security designers then need to understand that explanation and implement the system. It could be the attacker giving the explanation. For instance, if you are a victim of a ransomware attack, they 